play it. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not play it. I did not. Oh, hi, guys. So, Albert of Base vs. Zombies here, and this is one hell of a special video for this channel because there were no spoken videos here before. Just many base covers and concert videos, but nothing with me speaking about things. And maybe it was good. Well, today I decided to break the silence, and not just for fun. No, 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 no. I have a very important reason for opening my mouth, and it's exactly 1000 subscribers for this channel. Yeah, alright. Well, guys, I don't want to start all this bullshit about not expecting this day to come ever, but still, it's a very delightful day for me, and I'd like to thank you from all my heart for supporting my YouTube channel, especially since there are lots and lots of other cover players who are way more talented than me. Oh well, we'll do what we can, right? Well, anyway, I'd like to use this chance to answer some of the questions I've got from you guys during all two years of this channel's existence. By the way, it's a big surprise for me that someone wants to know something about someone who plays covers on YouTube. Still, I've got a few questions and why not use this video to answer them and see where it goes. I was born in Ukraine, in the city of Kharkov, and I lived there until I was uh, 28. Then my family has moved to Germany, and that's where I live now. question yeah everybody knows you should say good question if it's complicated actually I've played in a bunch of bands back in Ukraine I've played in a grunge band 90s <laughs> then I moved to heavy metal at some point I've played in a pop rock band so I can say I was pretty active on the stages of my hometown then after I moved to Germany, there was a long, long break for me, and honestly, I've never thought I would hold a bass in my hands ever, ever, ever again. Still, about three years ago, I felt like I really needed to get back to the music because I couldn't live without it, and suddenly my wife gave me a bass as a present. Just keeping that axe in my hands again felt like coming home, so I spent about a year just trying to recover some of my skills and I created this YouTube channel just to play more and challenge myself. Then I've played in a local band for about a year or so and even played one live gig, the first one in 20 years. Well, anyway, right now I'm between the bands or should I say between a band and spending more time on my YouTube channel? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I will play in the band again, but who knows. Frankly, for now, I'm just happy to do my covers, and maybe I will try a couple of other formats, like educational stuff on how to play certain songs. What do you think? I swear, Jackson guitars pay me nothing for my opinion. Wait a minute. But hey, I will tell you exactly how it happened. Initially, I just needed a stable, yet cheap bass to start practicing after my 20 years long break. So, I had a few options like LTD, Epiphone and some others, but Jackson JS2 just caught my eye, because it was cheap, and yet it had a lot of good reviews. And I still enjoy playing it, it's my default base for all the covers you can see, and I like its tone, and I like how it feels to play it, so I can only recommend it if you don't have much money and still want to have a good base. 
Then at some point I wanted to get a 5 string bass and I was almost absolutely sure I was going to get a LTD bass, something from their F series, I guess. But <laughs> right in time, Jackson had a special offer and I ended up buying their X bass. Transparent black for a very nice price. So, as you can see, there's no big secret behind my selection of bases, except for my wish to spend less and the special offers coming to me at the right time. Oh, I guess you mean, uh, no, not this one. Yeah, here's my baby. <laughs> yeah, it's my latest base. It's called Arachnid, made by Neil Moser of BC Rich fame. And it's a great bass if you enjoy playing metal with a pick, and I do enjoy both. Basically, it's my first expensive bass ever, and it's quite amazing. Some would say it's uncomfortable. Some would say it's uncomfortable for playing blues in the chair, but blues, really? Have you seen this hell beast? And why the hell would you want to play in the chair? It's a metal bass for metal music, so stand up and play for fuck's sake. Well, thank you, but all I use is my smartphone and uh, two cheap-ass studio lights, that's it. The only secret is I use my main camera and that gives my videos a little more quality. The problem is I don't see myself while shooting and... I can take it, it's a very basic setup and I don't think I need something more for now, maybe later. Ok, it's very simple. When I play, I shoot my videos with a smartphone and the audio is recorded separately. The sound goes to my MPEG amplifier all the way through the sound interface, I use Focusrite 2i2 and finally comes to the nice little software called Audacity. That allows me to use my presets and also control the volumes of the original track and my bass line. Then I use a free video editor just to put the sound and the video together. I know it seems a bit harder than just playing for the camera, but it's not rocket science really. Oh yes, sure. <laughs> I'm a lifelong KISS fan and KISS is one of those bands I enjoy playing the most. I just love the jeans parts and it's always a challenge for me to play them well. You can say they are easy, but frankly I don't think so. <laughs> Gene Simmons has never been one of those bass players who preferred to stick to the root notes, if you know what I mean. He always played melodies and playing the melodic parts can be a huge challenge sometimes. And his outlandish costume and boots and the way he used to act on stage, at least in the 70s, 80s and 90s. He's never been boring on stage, never standing still, never inspecting his neck, you know, staring there all the time. Nothing like that. And plus, he sang a lot of songs too. Try doing it all together and I'd say you might change your opinion about him. Anyway, yes, I'd like to continue doing KISS and KISS related stuff. Also, I'd like to do some KISS stuff that has never ever been released officially. Some demos Gene and Paul have done. Of course, if the quality is good enough. Actually, I do just fine, thank you. <laughs> Initially, Everybody was scared shitless, because according to the new legislation, pretty much every cover on YouTube could be banned at any time. But we're still alive and kicking. Of course it's impossible to monetize any covers here, but I've never thought about making money on YouTube anyway. Actually there was just one of my covers that YouTube has blocked forever, and you won't believe me, it was the song called Benzin by Rammstein. YouTube hated this cover out of literally hundreds and hundreds of other Rammstein covers. For some reason, I don't know why. I've tried to change this and that just to help this cover to get accepted, but nothing helped. Go figure. Oh well, I guess it could be worse.
Shame on you, Rammstein. Shame on you. Schämt euch. Yeah, why not? If you know a movie with a really good soundtrack, just leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, write comments, and don't forget, be excellent to each other. Thank <laughs> you.